Hi guys and welcome back to Ripton Farm where we'll be working on our new dumper. If you haven't already, go and check out the previous few videos that we've done. I'll put links to those in the description below and please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. So we're back with Daphne today. Uh, last time we managed to get her running but not very well. She only started with a helping hand of ether. Um, had a lot of smoke and wouldn't really idle very nicely. So we started to take this injector off to check what kind of condition that was in. But um, if you'd seen the last video, you would have seen it was very, very stuck. Um, I do actually have my friend's injector puller with me. Hopefully that will fit onto these threads here. Onto this thread here. Um, but if not, we do have a backup plan. Um, I think it was salvage 1970 or 1970 salvage, something like that, commented saying about whipping these studs out um, and then we'll be able to actually twist the injector. So thank you for that tip. That's a good backup if we can't get this done. Um, and once we've got this out, we can go out and do a pop test on it and, and see the spray pattern and stuff like that. So. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is give this a good spray down with some penetrating fluid. And then we're going to come over here and try and get this case open and have a look at our injector puller uh, or slide hammer type thing. That's the hammer. Um, I have actually had a look at this quickly. We've got the hammer, we've got the handle, and I believe it's this one here. I'll take this off. That thread there should hopefully fit onto the top of this. Oh, I've just got the bolt. And it does very nicely. The only issue I can see is this might be slightly in the way. So I'm going to take this bolt off if I can. Which means that we can then get this to fit in there as well. like so. And then what we're going to do is take our slide hammer, screw that into there. I do like these actually. They, this was quite inexpensive apparently. Not very much at all and it seems quite a good bit of kit. So one thing to check is that nothing is going to fall down into this, which I don't think there is. There was a couple of leaves but that's about it. Hopefully that mouse isn't still in there from the last video, but let's give this a go. And I can see that is moving already. And I think I will have to take these bolts off. It's actually taken out that cooling fan as well. Oh, I forgot there was washers on there. So we're out. Unfortunately, it looks like that cover's going to have to be bent out of the way. But we are loose. So that has worked really, really nicely. We didn't need to have a backup plan, which is nice. Um, let's get this cover. In fact, you know what? I'm not too dear about this. This is all going to get repainted anyway. 
and I don't like the idea of taking these bolts out because they look absolutely rusted on so there we go nice and easy and the other thing guys is to check that nothing falls down in here we've got stones and debris and stuff like that but that is the injector out and now we can go and plug this thing in and see see how it's um, spraying well we're back here in the um, workshop and we have our pop tester or pressure tester um, these things are really cool you basically put the fuel in the back here and you put your injector on the end here something like this and they come with all different connectors um, and you pump away and then you can pump until it hits a certain get uh, pressure and then it should fire at a certain pressure and different injectors have different pressures which they should fire at I don't currently know what pressure this should fire at but um, I'm going to look that up in a minute to be honest really what I want to do is just concentrate on the um, spray pattern and see what's going on there so let's get to that so the first thing we want to do is actually get some fuel in this thing you don't need a crazy amount but the thing with diesel is it doesn't go off anyway so it's going to just stay in here until we need it next I've only actually had to use this probably three or four times since I've had it so but it does come in handy it is a really useful tool and not very expensive either I think maybe I paid 30 or 40 pounds for this so right. nip that up there. Uh, now we do need a can or a bucket or something to catch all the spray as well so guys I've, I've got this on i've got the fuel in i've managed to find a catch can um and i have pumped this a few times just until fuel has got started dribbling out of here so let's give it a go yep we have fuel and keep an eye on that pressure as i push this handle down That doesn't look too good and it's spraying everywhere and I've spilled oil great let's give that another go you can see there straight away there's no pressure which isn't good and it's also dripping which isn't good um, you can have a fiddle with this. So I've unwound this a load and let's see if that makes any difference. It does feel harder to press. But that injector still looks like it's not firing great. So uh, we have two options. First one is to take this one apart, recondition it. Actually, we have three options. Recondition, first option. Second one is to buy a new injector. Um, you can still get these. The third option, which I am favouring for today, is to whip this one off of our spare engine and see if that fires any better because that should be exactly the same as this one. Um, so I'm going to do that quickly and I'll hook it up to here and then we'll see how we get on with that. Well guys, we have the other one out and on there, interestingly enough, it didn't come off with its heat shield or heat sink, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it is ever so slightly different on the top, but apart from that, it does look the same. 
Um, so we're going to have to either try and get the heat heat sink out of there or try and get this one off. But you'll be pleased to see. Now remember what the old one looked like. And if I pump this a few times now, you see that mist? Still not sure I can see anything on the pressure gauge, but that is so much better. Um, that's how it's, it's not leaking at all once it's done. And it seems to be a nice, fine spray as opposed to sort of just jetting out everywhere. So I reckon we're going to go ahead and try and use that injector as it is, put it on the other one, on the dumper, and try and fire her up and see if she's running any better. So I just want to really quickly thank 1970 Salvage again for helping me with that uh, tip. That was absolutely stuck on there. Um, and I did actually break a couple of things. What I did is I put it in the vise like this and then used my plumber's grips to twist it. So I'll give that all a clean out and then try and get the new injector in there and then we'll, we'll go put it back on the dumper. have it guys the injector is in um, we're not going to use the easy start this time and I'm gonna see if I can get it going so here we go That's so much better than it did before. That's running really nice because it's running tight, so it's Thank <laughs> you. 
was so pleased with that. No smoke at all. That injector is definitely the problem. Uh, we do have a few need to sort out this. Sort out that leak off right, but a little bit of smoke will be accelerated, well, that's to be expected. But I'm really, really pleased with that. So it starts and it runs really, really nicely. I'm so pleased with that. Um, I hope you guys have watched it to the end because that was a that was a, a brilliant result. Um, so in the future for this, uh, we've got some paint for it. We need to get some service filters like the air filter, oil filter, fuel filter, put some new oil in. Um, those tyres are still up, although they are looking a tiny bit lower, but um, we need an exhaust on it. You probably can't tell on the, on the camera, but it is so loud. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. And I hope you guys are too. Um, join me for the next video and we'll get servicing this thing and we'll get some paint on it as well. Um, yeah, thank you for watching.